Hey there everybody! The purpose of this video is to get you a small tutorial on how to run one of our stats on a uh, distribution of data, uh, grouped data as we call it in class. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the machine. I've got some other stuff in here. I'm going to press clear and let's get, a, let's get a distribution of data into the stat editor. So I'm going to press stat and then enter. And I've got some data in here I'm going to clear out. Um, in case you need help understanding how to clear data, you might want to watch the other video on uh, one of our stats on raw data, which walks you through how to clear the data out. So let's just make up some, some fairly straightforward data. Um, and I don't even know. Let's just make up say, four, six, seven, ten, and 24. There we go. And let's say... That's just raw. That looks like raw data. Let's suppose there are three fours, two sixes, five sevens, four tens, and one twenty-four. That's the. Those are the frequencies. So what we've done now is we've put the data into L one. We call them X values in class, and the frequencies into L two. Um, so it looks like two different data sets, but it's not. These guys here are the data, and this is how many of each of those data values there are. Okay, and then the idea of this video is to show you how to calculate statistics on that weighted distribution. So it starts the same. You press stat, you go over to calc, and you grab one var stats, number one. Okay. Now, the problem is don't press enter right now. If you press enter right now, it's going to erroneously give you the one bar stats only on... Hi, Congressman Blumenauer. It's going to erroneously give you one bar stats only on list one without looking at the frequencies. What you need to do is you need to tell the TI, please TI, look at L1 for the data but L2 for how frequently each of those data points is in there. And the way you do that is pretty straightforward. You have one bar stats, press second, one, that's L1 for the data, then press the comma button right above seven, and then second, two for the frequencies. And then you press enter now, it's going to tell you the average is an 8.2. The sample standard deviation is about a 4.9. Look, this is this is definitely clutch. N equals 15. If you only ran one bar stats on L1, it would think that N was equal to 5. But it's not. There are 15 data points. And then you scroll down and you get the five number summary. So you get all kinds of good stuff in there. So the key, really, the key takeaway when you're running frequency or grouped data is do one bar stats, data list, comma, frequency list. And it doesn't matter. I put mine in L1 and L2 usually, but you can put them anywhere you want to besides there. Cool. Hope that helped, and we'll uh, see you in class.